Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a historically important deck. This is both the worst deck to win a Pro Tour and the first net deck. So the year is 1996, the Pro Tour is Columbus. We are in Ice Age Alliance Constructed, one of the weakest constructed formats of all time. But still, nonetheless, we are playing a 4 and a green for a deadly insect for a 6-1 that cannot be the target of spells or effects, including your own, so you cannot giant growth it. But as a 6-1, it pretty much dies to any creature, any blocker. We also have the giant trap door spider. One, a red, and a green. You can pay one, a red, and a green, tap it, remove from the game target creature, which doesn't have flying and is attacking, and you lose your spider, which is a two- free without reach. To give you a little bit of historical reference, uh, 1996 is when the internet, when people finally got access to the internet. Um, the internet was out before then, but it was largely, at least for for me in middle school, largely not available. So this was the first net deck. Uh, Wooly Spider, one double green for a two free. Uh, I can block creatures with flying if it is assigned to block a creature with flying, it gets plus zero plus two until end of turn, so it becomes a two five. If it blocks a creature flying, that was considered OP. I mean, it's very strange to look at these cards now, but back then, as soon as the deck list came out online, people at my, I think it was elementary or middle school, ran to the deck list and they took the cards. And these were not rare cards, these were commons and uncommons. So they were relatively easy to get and find. And they made the same deck. And essentially everyone had a net deck with a two and a red for an 04 that you, I can't even stop laughing, that you pay a red and it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. That was, this is considered the best deck of that format, of that constructed format. It took down the Pro Tour, and it created a whole generation of net deckers. From that point on, obviously the internet became more and more popular, and now we have the internet on mobile phones and stuff like that. But that was this is the first deck that inspired a generation of net deckers. The very next month, everyone had the same deck, mainly because the cards in the deck were common and uncommon. You could buy them for five cents, ten cents. It wasn't difficult to do. And I just love it. I miss playing old school magic like this, where people are playing spiders and insects and all types of crap. But the worst deck to ever win a Pro Tour and the first deck to inspire net decking. Very historically relevant. Anyway, bye guys.